There's all different kind of popcorns that you can buy out there. You can buy it already bagged up, pre-cooked, but I just love doing it the old timey way. This really brings back some nice memories. I'm gonna put just enough oil to slightly, slightly cover our pan. And then I'm gonna put a single layer of popcorn in the pot. And you can see when I shake it up, that makes like a single layer. We don't wanna overfill our pot because when it starts popping, we could have a big mess. Naturally, I had the pot already hot when I poured in the oil. You can hear the popcorn sizzling in that oil. This is dangerous because we don't know when one of those kernels are gonna come flying up. Up oh, <laughs> there it went. I remember that my mother had a popcorn pot that she used on top of the stove and it had a clear lid so we could watch it as it popped but I don't even think they make those anymore. But maybe I could find one at a junk sh shop. <laughs> I can't eat it fast enough. <laughs> don't do that at home, kitties. I'm just having fun. And you can hear it. You can hear it popping. And we're just gonna shake that pan because if I just left that pan sitting there, there's a good chance that the popcorn might burn and we don't want that. There's all different popcorns now that you can use instead of popping your own, all different brands, but I would recommend an unsalted popcorn for this recipe. Okay, the pot is quiet. So I think all the kernels have popped. Let's take a look. And hopefully there's no burned popcorn on the bottom. There's not one burned kernel in our pot. Now while our popcorn is cooling, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna make our chocolate coating that's gonna just make these luscious chocolate filled popcorn balls. And we're gonna start with a half a stick of butter, always butter, sugar, cocoa, corn syrup, doesn't it seem like forever when you're draining corn syrup out of a bottle? A pinch of salt. We've got all of our ingredients in here now. We're just gonna bring them to a bowl. And that shouldn't take very, very long. You know, I remember my grandmother, Paul, making these for the young children in our family. I tried not to call on my grandmother very often to keep my children because I felt like she had already done her job with her children and I hated to pawn her great-grandchildren off on her. But when I had to call on her, she would make sure she had these popcorn balls as a snack for my children and everything would be all right. She was a wonderful grandmother. In fact, both of my grandmothers were just the best. I had one that I swear that walked around with a halo over her head. And then I had another one that was spicy and I think it sometimes she had little horns coming out of hers. So I had a nice variety, I was most lucky. The feisty grandmother's name was Irene and she was the one that I spent many, many years in the kitchen with. And the other grandmother was Nellie Lou. And I have fond, fond memories of Irene and little Nellie Lou. This has come to a boil and the sugar's dissolved. So now we're gonna add eight cups of popcorn to our pot. A heaping one for good luck. Oh, these are looking so good. And if you wanted to, you know you could even add some chopped peanuts or pecans to it. It'd almost make it like a chocolate Cracker Jack, wouldn't it? I know those two little boys of mine sure did love these. So I think tonight while we're watching the movie, there'll be other little children around that'll love them just as much as mine did. So we're gonna let this cool for a minute and then I'm gonna just mold them into their shape. I've got a nice coating on our popcorn. Now I'm just gonna pour it down to our cookie sheet and let it cool for a minute so that I can touch it. 
because it's still kind of warm. Look at the threads. My granddaddy was aggravating me. I was 15 years old. And I ran to her and I said, Grandmama, he won't leave me alone. And I remember her walking in and she had a sofa that sat out in the middle that floated. And granddaddy was, happened to be standing behind the sofa. She walked out there with her hands on her hips. And she said, Johnny, I told you to leave her alone. And he said, I'm not bothering her. Well, she walks out. He aggravates me some more. I run back and get her again. And this time when she comes back into the room, she said, I told you, John Paul, to leave that child alone, and I mean it. And she balled up her left fist, knocked him for a loop, sent him and the sofa flying over. And I walked around the sofa, and I looked down at him and I said, I told you to leave me alone. <laughs> she was a sport, my grandma. Like I said, I adored both of my grandmothers. They were just so entirely different. And I have people say, oh, you're just like Nellie Lou. And then I'll have people say, oh my God, you're just like Irene. So, <laughs> and these are heavenly, even if you think you might be sinning. Because you know, popcorn, it's a vegetable. How bad can it be for you? Not, not that bad, just air. <laughs> and we all know air ain't fattening. These are actually fun to do. And after they cool off, the children can help do this. They'd have a ball doing it. And that's it. They're ready for the movie. Well, I've got all of our snacks ready. All I have to do now is get changed, and then we're off to the movie. Hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this blast from the past, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.